Hey though, it's Benjamin D'Souza here. Do a quick prompt to video, man. Uh, I just got done listening to the uh, Obsidian's live stream that he did as it pertains to this latest uh, dust up between you know various talking heads about the uh, Sierra and Russell Wilson situation and whatnot. But that's not what I want to talk about in this video. I, you know, in the latter half of the last hour of this uh, stream, this gentleman, I think his name is like Mr. Anthony or something like that. Dude, oh boy, that's from Chicago. Listen, bro, big bro, let me talk to you. Because you was on there doing a whole, whole bunch of fear mongering. Well, these guys, you know, these blue pill simps, man, they, they out here, and, 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 and it's scary. Listen, man. Listen. What up? What Lil John say back in the day on that one song? If you a scared motherfucker, go to church. And if you a gutter motherfucker, put in work. Now, I'm not saying that I'm a gutter motherfucker, but, you know, what I'm saying is we are all men here. I got two hands and ten fingers just like the next man. You know? If you was born of a woman like me, you can bleed just like me. So, you know, what exactly are you saying? You know, it sounds like a whole bunch of fear-mongering hocus-pocus to me. You know? I'm like, man, this is the land of the free, the home of the brave, not the land of the cowards who are scared of some blue pill skunt who wants to try to bully you and twist your arm to get back on the plantation. No, this ain't what this is about, man. You know? And you know, I'm, I'm ten toes with this red pill shit, man. And you know game recognized game, homie. And you looking kind of unfamiliar. You know what I'm saying? You, you sounding real Real blue pillish, man. Real blue pillish. And another thing that upset me, you did a lot of double talk. You did a lot of, I don't know, I, I, I can't think of the word, but you definitely was double talking, man. You know, you're talking to Nagone, and Nagone was like, man, fuck these bitches, man. And then you turn around like, yeah, no, no, I agree with you, I agree with you, yeah, man, fuck these bitches. And you know, I'm not a psychic. Hell, I don't even play one on TV. But it, the, the way you came off to try to pacify and, and kind of mimic the other panelists on there that was really dropping that hardcore red pill shit, it seemed kind of disingenuous to me, to say the least. It sounded like you was bullshitting. You know? It sounded like you was kind of running game and shit. It's like, it's, like, it's like you talking to a bitch and you know, you're trying to rap with her and whatnot. And she might like Lil Boosie, the rapper. And you know, I, I don't too much care for Lil Boosie's music, you know, personally. I have nothing against him personally. I just don't like his music. But if I'm trying to ingratiate myself to her, I might just be like, yeah, yeah, Lil Boosie is dope, uh-huh, uh-huh. And just try to mimic. And that's, that's, that's what it sounded like you was doing to me. To me, in my eyes, the way I see it, that's what you was doing, man, you know? And as far as this whole uh, whole idea about you know saving the black community, or, or, or you know, well, the reason why I'm concerned with these females is because they're giving birth to to uh, black sons or whatnot. Listen, and you said on the video that uh, you're college educated. You got your associates, and then you got you know certain certifications. Congratulations. You know, keep up the good work, brother. But if you did go to college, you, there's a good chance you might have taken biology 101. And if you study biology, you'll understand that there are two schools of thought, or, or two theories, um, as it pertains to natural selection. And I've spoken about this, excuse me, and I've spoken about this in prior videos of mine. There's the founder What's it called? The founder, the founder effect. Where a 
small contingent of a tribe, band, or clan leaves that said community and they go off to uh, uncharted regions to start their own little enclave. That's the founder's effect. You know, a prime example of that would be um, the 13 colonies. You know, you, you had a certain contingent of uh, English explorers that came over here and what they do, they, they, they founded some shit, right? Okay. The second theory is the uh, bottleneck effect. The bottleneck effect is when a terrible disaster, whether it be a natural disaster or a man-made disaster or whatever, occurs and the number, the numbers of that said population drops uh, very low. So then the remaining people, the survivors of that catastrophe, rebuilds up the society or rebuilds up the tribe or the community if you will so I mean what we're looking at here is natural selection and evolution taking this course you know I said in the chat room you know I quote I quote you know I quote 50 cent all the time when he said uh we all can't win some of us gotta lose some of us got to lose, you know? So, uh, your whole, your whole trumpet, trumpet sound, your whole trumpet blast to try to rouse and rally the black men to feel some sort of sympathy to come back and save the community, it was, it was kind of lack of a better term, it was weak on your part, man. Real shit. I seen your game from, from a mile away. You know, if you ain't with this red pill team, then go on about your way, man. But uh, what else did I want to talk about? Something else something else oh yeah 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 the um he was like man I, you know i really don't think that we should be out here pumping doing the pump and dump strategy and whatnot you know but that's a that's a waste of time I, I i think every brother should just you know get one solid female and then you know put their energy into her and, and build with her which eerily sounds similar to what um the other side is talking about with, you know, Angry Man and Cerulean Grey, what they talking about, you know. It says, there, there's some, some similar parallels there, but, you know, that that, that may be a, a topic for another discussion. However, I put it in the chat room, and, you know, I got this game from, uh, from Obsidian. You know, he said, first we fuck, then we date, you know, because sex is a uh, huge component to any uh, intimate relationship between two people. If y'all not clicking sexually, then you know, nah, hey, yo, your ship ain't gonna get too far from the yard. But uh, yeah, first we fuck, then we date, and if we don't click, then she get the boot. You know, it's essentially pump and dump. You know, if she gets booted, if she gets jettisoned, if I deep six her ass after we fuck and I see, you know what, this bitch is stupid. I really don't like her attitude. I'm gonna hit the eject button. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I wish I had one of them motherfuckers in my car. Like, what's those, uh, those, uh, secret agent cars and shit? Like the James Bond spy joint or the, or the Archer Sterling spy joint. And he got the button on the panel and shit, hit the button and the goddamn passenger seat ejects out the car, I need one of those, wish I had one, hell yeah, straight up, but yeah man, I'm not saying necessarily, 
you know, focus your entire game on being a predatorial pump and dumper. But shit, you want to get your rocks off, get your rocks off. You know, and if you get your rocks off with a chick whom, you know, you find out later that you don't like, then shit, you know, you're going to have to cancel that bitch and buy another one like Nino Brown said. Yeah, man, you were sounding real simpish in that motherfucker, man. You know? And I really didn't like the fear mongering either. It's scary. I'm like, nigga, what? come on, dude. Do you still check under your bed for monsters at night? Like, real shit, man. Come on. We are all men here. But, uh, yeah. This, this, this needs to happen. This needs to happen. Like, uh, I just made a video, I think it was my last video, I don't know if I posted it, but, you know, I made a video where I was talking about, I seen this, uh, this, this Facebook video about this young sister getting her ass whooped in the street by Pookie and Ray Ray, and, you know, a part of me was like, hey, you know, that's, it. that's who she want to fuck with, she just getting her just... You know, she's just getting her just due, you know. You fuck with motherfuckers like that, you get what you got coming to them. But another part of me was, you know, I, I, I had sympathy for her. You know what I'm saying? And it kind of hurts me, you know. It's, it, it's kind of saddening. You know, I'm not one of these guys out here that looks at the at the uh, state of the community, or the community, if you will, you know, with fucking uh, glee and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, in the Bible, I forgot what passage it was, but I think uh, Israel had gotten conquered by the uh, Babylonians, and I, I believe they got carried off into battle because, you know, I mean, got carried off into captivity, and God allowed them to get destroyed because they were doing a whole bunch of wicked shit. And uh, I forgot who, who said it. One of the prophets might have said it. He said, you know, this isn't a good thing. You know, you shouldn't celebrate the destruction of Israel. Now, I'm just using that story as an example. What I'm saying, you know, and that kind of resonated with me, you know, I don't take, well, at least I try not to. I'm not perfect. I'm, you know, I'm not the most pious gentleman walking around out here. But, uh, yeah, I don't take particular glee or happiness in this shit. It, it really is sad, but, you know, from a pragmatic standpoint, just looking at this shit, you know, through my cold, cold-hearted, analytic lenses, this shit gotta happen, man. This shit has to happen. And what we have right now, you know, as far as the, uh, the brothers talking about this, you know, it's the international player with a passport, you know, on team. That's the, that's the founder's effect at play. Brothers talking about going overseas and catching flights, being on a Falcon shit. That's the founder's effect at play, you know. And um, as far as these uh, plagues and epidemics and shit that plague the black community, that is the uh, bottleneck effect. So we got two effects going on, you know what I mean? And shit needs to happen. It needs to happen. Needs to happen. We got we got too many motherfuckers out here that are too far gone, and you know they need to just be left up to their own devices and, and and you know let the let the stars you know not to get too spooky and shit, but let the stars and the in the cosmos you know give them what they deserve or give them what they got coming to them. And this shit is hard, man. You know. But it's necessary. You know? And I'm all around the country. I just was in Chicago last week. Shit. Took the blue line from O'Hare all the way to the red line. Went out south to go see my peoples. You know, I walk around these streets like a like a motherfucking Jaguar. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can come up to that Jaguar and fuck with that Jaguar if you want to. You know, but if some uh, blue pill skunt wants smoke over me having a certain red pill philosophy and, ex and exercising my natural rights to be free as a man and choose and move how I want to, 
if he wants smoke behind that, then hey, them claws gonna come out. But yeah, though, man, that's all I wanted to say, man. Yeah, I had to, I had to get this shit off my chest real quick, cause uh, homies up there sounding real, real soy, man. Sounding real soy. But uh, yes, yeah, you know, not a knock against you. But uh, mm, you know what? It just dawned on me. It just dawned on me because he did. He did bring up uh, old girl name. He did bring up old girl name, and then there was uh, some some mention about last week, I believe, about that one so-called scientist who my opinion, I, I didn't see the whole thing because, you know, I had other shit to do. But from what I heard and what I seen, this guy was a scientist. He was more like a pompous asshole to me. But anyway, you know, Obsidian and, and Nagon had, they, they had brought it up like, man, is, was old dude a plant? And I'm kind of thinking, because, you know, you was kind of how you say, uh, Slow balling the uh, old girls talking points about how niggas ain't shit and how we need to build and protect the community and, and all that other shit. You was kind of coming at it from a from a real slick. You, you it sounded like you was kind of pushing that shit on a real slick, subtle angle. You know, trying to use certain. Uh, what's that I was saying when, when you uh, imitate somebody to try to ingratiate yourself to him he was using subtle subtle psyop tactics you know that I was noticing so I'm thinking so now I gotta look at you with the side eye man are you a plant sent by uh old girl oh so and so huh but uh yeah man if, if if you do want to come back and, you know, subvert the message, bro, you you, you got to be a little sharper than that, man. But in any event, that's just me getting on my conspiracy shit. Hell, I don't know. I don't know you on me from a can of paint, hell. Shit. Shit, we can, we can for real get up and chill, man, next time I'm in Chicago and shit. Shit, we can go down to Famous Joe's down there on Halstead. You know, get one of them motherfucking dogs and then have a beer or some shit, man, you know, and we could chop it up and see what it is. <laughs> Not really, but yeah, though, man, that's all, man. I just have to throw this out there in the ether, man. And, uh, yeah. Let me know what y'all think, man. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. It's Benjamin D'Souza.